Hi there, I'm Chad Boninger. I'm the business librarian for Ohio University Libraries. This semester I have several classes who are looking to research the organic foods and better for you foods and beverages industry. In particular, they're looking for demographics and consumer information for people who might eat or drink certain product categories or certain brands. This video shows you how to find the information about those consumers in a database called Simmons Insights. So here you go. When you first arrive at Simmons, click proceed to enter. And then we're going to change from Essentials, we're going to change it to Quick Reports because we want to create a demographic profile which is found in the Quick Reports tab. We can search by product category, so in this case we can search for juice to find listings for juices in Simmons data. Or we can search by brand, such as V8, to find specific brands in Simmons data. Another way to do this is to go in and actually browse by Simmons data and look for the product category within the Simmons data list. You can see the list is quite extensive, so it allows you an opportunity to browse to see what kind of data that Simmons collects from consumer surveys. In this case, we see that there are, is a listing for brands used the most. That's what the MO stands for. And we can see what brand offerings that Simmons collects data for underneath that product category. So in this case, we can choose Campbell's Tomato to see demographic profile of people who use Campbell's juice the most. And what we're going to do is select that as our target consumer. And once it's in the target box, we can then click the arrow to run and see our report. This gives us a great demographic profile for uh, people who use Campbell's tomato juice the most, including things like their ethnicity, educational level, race, income, and age, and whether they're married or not. You'll notice that the sample size is a little over 13,000 people. We can expand that by changing the survey to the 12-month survey which will, once we do that, we have to rerun our study using the arrow again. And you can see that our sample size doubled. So that gives us a little bit more data to work with should we need it. Hopefully this video helped you better understand how to use Simmons to get information about the organic foods and beverages consumer. Should you need more help, make sure to check out other videos on my YouTube channel or check out my guides on the library website. Take care and best luck with your research.